What's poppin' you guys? It's your girl Sandra. Welcome to Sandra Said What? Um, thank you for joining me. <laughs> if you are new, welcome. Blah 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 blah. Rewind. If you are a newcomer, welcome to our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can see me more on your screen. Um, my day ones, welcome back. Okay, so today's video is going to be relatively short. I just want to touch on something very briefly. And that is knowing the difference between when people are telling you things and when they're asking you for advice. What I mean by that is... Okay, so a lot of the times when people tell us, oh, guess what, I'm going to buy this car. I'm thinking about buying this car and this is how I think I'm going to do it, blah, 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 blah. And we take that as in they're asking me for my advice. So, oh, no, I don't think you should do this. I think you should do that instead. Or, oh, my gosh, my boyfriend did this and that, blah, 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 blah. And then you take it up on yourself to start giving advice. Oh, why don't you do this? You need. To, we need to learn to distinguish between when people are asking for advice and when people are telling us things. One of my pet peeves, this is the part of the reason. First of all, I don't tell people my business. That's one, okay? And because I know as soon as people know your business, everybody has an input and their opinion is not usually informed me when i make a decision on something one of the things that annoy me to death is like when i tell someone something and they start telling me no do this instead da, 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 da. ma'am sir that's i'm not asking you for advice this is a decision i've made because me i am the kind of person who really takes my time to think everything through and go through all of the motions go through all of the different options and you know before I come to a conclusion so when I come to a conclusion and I tell people my decision I hate when people try to talk me out of my decision it's not that they can it's just it's very annoying very frustrating and I don't like to deal with it right like let's say I say you guys want to go to the movies and I say oh no I don't want to go once I say I don't want to go, it's because I've thought about it. Okay, maybe I don't have the money. Maybe I don't have the time. Or maybe I don't like these kind of movies. I know what they do to me emotionally. I don't want to see that. But I, of course, I'm not going to rain on your parade. You want to go see it, go see it. Oh, no, come with us. It's going to be fun. Oh, no, I'm okay. It's just okay. You guys can go. It's not my cup of tea. Oh, we'll pay for you. What? No, I didn't ask you to pay for me. Oh, well, it's going to be this. Come on. No, that shit irks me because when I make decisions my decisions are usually mostly final okay because my decisions are not taken lightly so that's why I want us to really be able to take a step back when people are telling us things and asking them so okay that's your plan that sounds good so is that a final decision or were you looking for input please at least ask don't give me unsolicited advice because I get so annoyed if your friend is here dealing with this man over and over and over again, right? And she keeps telling you about this and you've told her multiple times what you think she should do and she doesn't do it. Let her be stupid. Let her be stupid in peace. As long as it's not dangerous to her um, physical being, let her be stupid in peace. She going to learn sometimes people have to go through the motion of making their own mistakes people have to go through the motion of learning through their stupidity people have to do dumb stuff to realize hey I'm not gonna do that anymore and if they don't learn they're gonna experience the same thing and it the same um, experience is gonna come up until they learn the, their lesson so it's not up to us to try to talk people out of their own mistakes. Of course, it depends on the level of the mistake. But let people do them, right? Let people um, feel that, huh, this is a stupid decision. But I'm going to do it anyway because a lot of us do that. We know the right thing to do. We know what we want to do. We know what we should do. But we don't do it. Why? Because that's what I felt like at the moment. I wanted to see what the other decision was going to lead to. Maybe I already knew the final answer to that one. 
but I didn't know what the other answer would be if I did this. So I did this and I found out and I, I ain't going to do it again. So I just want us to be cautious and not always wanting to relate or relay our own personal information, our own personal ex beliefs, our own personal experiences and push them onto people. We have to be more cautious and more thoughtful towards people's growth level, people's maturity level, people's belief systems and allow them to go and make their own decisions. So like I said, this video is very brief, very um, straightforward. So if you have any friends who are making dumb mistakes, as long as it's not dangerous to them, to their life, let them. Please let people be stupid in peace. Okay. But as long as we keep get, trying to get involved, we're going to lose friends because now she's not telling you her business anymore because every time she tried to tell you, hey, I did something stupid. I just want to, um, <laughs> I just want to vent about it and let it out to hear, hear my stupid mistake out loud. We have, well, I would have done this. I would have done this. If I were you, you should do this. Don't do that. Let's be more respectful of people's stupidities and their mistakes. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, this was a brief video. Talk to y'all later. Don't forget. Like if you like this video. Don't like if you don't like this video. Like thumbs down or thumbs up. It doesn't matter to me either way. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Sandra said what? It was a pleasure talking to you today.